Hi, I'm Najah, and today's video is episode three of what people are wearing in Montreal. Before I get into my fall outfit details, I did want to talk to you about the lipstick that I'm wearing because I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I think everyone deserves to know which one this is. This is the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nibble. You can get this at Sephora or on Sephora.com. Also, Morphe.com. If you're interested and you love the color, then definitely check it out. There's a lot more shades that come in the liquid lipstick as well as the lip gloss that Morphe carries. So y'all, keep watching the video, but after the video, Go and head down to my description box and you will see those links listed below. I will move on to my outfit details. It's giving very much fall vibes. I'm wearing my all-time favorite Oaken Fort jumper. And I paired that with a white ribbed crew neck that I thrifted. I'm really feeling this layering. I'm feeling this color combo. Based on the pattern, I'm happy that I paired this with a black blazer instead of a brown blazer. I got my nails done in some fall vibes with the little diamonds. I'm obsessed with these nails. If you like this outfit, make sure to check out the links listed down below in the description box. And let's go see what people are wearing in these streets today. I would describe my style as kind of Afrofuturistic because I'm Senegalese and also I like very mod modern stuff and my makeup. This is very Afrocentric type of graphic lining. What would you say your top three favorite brands are? Nike for the shoes, Zaha for the coats, and um, Khale Jinne for like the customs clothes because it's my sister's brand. And yeah, I really like what she's doing, so yeah. I always wear gold accessories. I always wear this one, the African one, and these. Because it, it comes from Senegal, and this, this is my favorite. This is, I never take it off. If you were to give someone one piece of advice on finding their personal style, what would it be? Uh, one piece of, adv of advice I would give is if you don't know where you're going, go back to where you're from. Anything I like, I'll buy. Mostly thrifted or like secondhand anything, especially like local Montreal shops because I love to support. What is your favorite accessory to wear? Definitely bags. Anything silver jewelry, rings. Well, I don't have any on, but um, like any silver chains layered. 100%, yeah. If you could describe your style in a couple of words, what would it be? Eclectic, um, risky, I guess, um, and ethical, yeah. What would you say your favorite pieces of clothing are? Uh, this tote bag that I wear every day, <laughs> like every single day. I thought it wouldn't fit with anything, and then suddenly it fits with everything. So it's, pretty, it's perfect for me, you know? So that's my brand, by the way, Pride Archive. Boom! Other essential is like a hat, so a cap, a bucket hat, something like that. What are your go-to pair of shoes? Uh, those ones, the Jill Sander and the Yang Lee that I always wear. And then if it's like a mountain hike, I'm on my Adidas, you know? Or the Vans on the camping trip, and that's it. What is your favorite piece of accessory to wear and why? I mean, for me, it's big time jewelry because that's what I do and I feel like I could wear like any trashy clothes, even just a bag and <laughs> just wear my bling and feel like, I don't know, it says so much. It's almost like a, like a shield of strength and, and deepness that I can carry on me. And also colorful, colorful like little hints, like a little patchwork of color, like a colorful bag. Uh, a colorful hair clip. Like, I just feel like co explosions of color make so much, bring so much joy. Mm -hmm. For me, my favorite accessory would be, I really like pants. I really, really like pants. Uh, I like them if they're baggy, if they're colorful, if they're a pattern on it. And I would say that's always what I'm going to start my outfit with, the pants. It's maybe also a way of connecting with my inner child, of how I was when I was a kid. I was very always very masculine. Growing up, I tried to be very, very feminine, and I just reconnected with how I was as a little girl, always trying to be with the boys. I would 
describe my style as 1960s at the beach. <laughs> and my top three favorite brands are Jacquemus, probably, honestly, Rick Owens, and ooh. Oh, honestly, Patagonia. <laughs> um, my go-to pair of shoes are probably a pair of Birkenstocks. <laughs> but that's, that's in summer, but I mean still, I'm summer every day, even in winter. <laughs> What would you say your go-to stores are to shop? Valley Village, or like like Depop, like a vintage yeah. store. What are your top three favorite colors to wear? I feel like blue right now. Like everything is blue. Like blue, white, black. If you could describe your style in a couple of words, what would it be? Boho, kind of like hippie. Like I like um like a lot of like loose, like flowy things. I think I would say. And based on today's trends, what's one trend you love and one trend that you despise? Oh my god, I really hate those like shirts with the chokers that are like built in. And then the slits here with the ties. I just like hate that. I think that looks bad. In terms of like now, I really like how people are buying like vintage like thrifted stuff. It's like picked up a lot the past couple of years. What are your favorite colors to wear? Blue. Definitely blue. Oh, yeah, not a color, but like jeans, like denim, like anything denim is really cool. And like black is kind of classic. And orange, like mm. orange. Who would you say your style inspiration is? And if not a person, then what inspires you? Mainly artists. So Rihanna, Aesop Rocky, Don Tolliver. I look up to artists when I dress myself. I think for me it's just people in general. I see someone on the street and I get really inspired by one thing that they're wearing. And I see someone else and I combine the two and then my personal interest and I kind of just match it. And what would you say your favorite accessory is? I'm a big fan of bags, but like mini bags. I'm not wearing one right now, but any like Jack Miss bag, a mini Telfar bag. Like I love mini bags. <laughs> I think for me it's jewelry. It's not reflected in my outfit right now, but like simple silver jewelry I think really elevates an outfit. I usually like like, I wear pretty simple things, so it, it brings up a bit. Favorite trend, I would say like that full uniform, like private school girl look with the tennis tennis skirts, the oversized cardigans. And oh my god, least favorite trend, I would say when like people do too much with all the brands and like logos and everything, or they try to like mix and match a bunch of like huge brands, that I would say is my least favorite. Yeah, I think that as well. I'm not into the oversaturation of like branding. Yeah. Um, my favorite trend, <laughs> love the color green. <laughs> like dark forest green, like fall colors. I wear them all year long. And last question, what would you say your go-to pair of shoes are and why? Okay, me, I'm gonna say sneakers because I cannot wear heels or any other type of shoes. So I'm always like wearing sneakers. I would say the Cortez. Those are my favorite shoes. I know a lot of people like hate them, but they were actually the first shoes that Nike made. But Cortez were my favorite shoes, like my go-to shoes. I think for me it's my Nike Dunks, the black and white ones. I wear them like every other day. So yeah. And who would you say inspires you in the world of fashion? In the world of fashion, I think it's just me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I like to try something different, uh, diff like creative stuff. And uh, I love shopping, so. What would you say your go-to pair of shoes are? Um, I like Steve Madden's. Yeah, I love Steve Madden's. Based on today's trends, what trend is your least favorite? Okay, what I hate is um, the, you know, like the old style, the, the shorts in the summer. It's like jeans when they're very short. I really don't like that. If you could describe your style in a couple of words, what would it be? Definitely vintage. I know that word is like thrown around, but I like to be ecological with what I wear. Um, I would say minimalist and just fresh tones. Go-to pair of shoes, that's really tough because it really depends on the moment. I have so many shoes and I mean, I guess classic docs are my fave for sure. And like a good pair of sneakers right now is what I'm looking for, so. Based on today's trends, what is your favorite and least favorite? Oh, um, I like the whole boho thing going on. So anything that has to do with like natural materials, uh, just like earthy tones. And least favorite, I've been really getting annoyed of the whole 2000s thing. 
because like I love it in some ways like obviously but I feel like now that I'm part of this generation where like I grew up with that trend and now I see the young people like taking their own turn with it I'm like mm, I don't know if y'all are capturing it so yeah if you could describe your style in a couple of words what would it be um, I would say it kind of depends on the day or what I'm gonna do like right now I'm planning on hiking up Mount Royal so I wanted something that was like comfortable that I could breathe in and shoes that I could actually walk in for a while so I'd say today just like comfortability and uh, I tried to just kind of match everything. I think I wear chucks about 90% of the time, white chucks. The only reason why I'm not wearing them right now is because I'm going on a hike. In today's fashion, what is one trend that you love and one trend that you despise? Um, well, I, I used to really not understand the whole like mullet revival. I, I think it's because I grew up in Alberta and um, like the hockey kids, which kind of like put a bad taste in my hand, in my, uh, in my mouth but the whole like androgynous thing that people are going for I think the mullet suits that really well but on, on the same side I, I find it kind of freaky when people just shave off their eyebrows and don't fill it in you know you can do what you want it just kind of freaks me out personally if you were to describe your style in a couple of words what would it be um, I have like two style I have like an alter, alter ego thing I, I am so super girly or really like boyish style like really like Vintage and everything like that. I'd say like tomboy meets girly yeah. at the same time. That's really comfort good. fashion. <laughs> yeah, totally. And based on today's trends, what would you say is your favorite and least favorite? Oh my god, that's a good question. Um, I think my least favorite because of my body type is maybe the low rise jeans because I couldn't pull off. But I, I think it's really pretty on girls, but not on me. <laughs> and the which one I like the most right now I think the funky pattern I really like that like 70s pattern like and funky psychedelic pattern I really like 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 a shirt or maybe dress like that I like everything to an extent I'm kind of over the Y2K thing because I felt yeah. like it was kind of overdone a little bit but I still like it and my favorite because it's fall is like oversized jackets oversized anything Nice. Obviously, blazer. Yeah. <laughs> that is it for what people are wearing in Montreal episode 3. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, show me love, and I will see you in my next video.